Mr. Bush, uh, did you ever use your position on Silverado's board for personal gain? Never, except to the extent that I gained by receiving the board fee, but I didn't have an ownership interest in Silverado. I didn't benefit directly or indirectly or in any other way by anything that took place at Silverado. Why do you think you were asked uh, to become a board director? Well, I was in the oil and gas business at the time and still am. And uh, to Mr. Kennedy's family is also in that business. And Denver's economy, I think, was rather <laughs> dependent on uh, the oil and gas economy. And at the time, they didn't have anybody with that kind of experience on the board. The board also, and I don't mean this out of disrespect, but was kind of aging. Two gentlemen that aren't here today that I have a great deal of respect for, Florian Barth and Lou Deegan, both were very well-respected businessmen who had been on the board for many years, had been in business and served on many boards and were highly regarded. I think they wanted to kind of dilute that a little bit with some young blood. And so I was invited you know, to participate and to offer what I could for my unique vantage point in business, I think. I, don't, I can't. Now, there might be some speculation that because I was the son of the vice president, which might be why you're smiling, <laughs> that I was included. And perhaps that's true. I don't want to be naive in saying that that might not have been a factor. But they never asked me to use influence right. with that regard.